This is the superhero peptide for the mitochondria. Uh, not only do you get an energy boost when your mitochondria aren't working right, it can cause all sorts of problems like heart disease, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. If we can get enough stem cells in that area, usually we'd want to you know, do some injections there. It's attracting your, your body's own stem cells. One of the things CJC is a supercharger for muscle building and accelerates recovery by inducing delta sleep waves and resetting your circadian rhythms. And so it's really nice. Um, CJC can help you sleep uh, better. All right, good afternoon and welcome back everybody to the uh, Unreasonable Health, uh, I guess this is the Health Accelerator uh, Challenges. Uh, we took a, a short break for the, the July uh, festivities, the 4th of July and uh, some, some time leading up to that. And so, so glad everyone's back. Uh, we're excited to have you on here. Uh, we had a few uh, uh, technical difficulties here. So um, uh, Reagan was on here. His, his his screen just kept freezing up. So I'm going to take it from here. Hopefully that doesn't offend anyone. Hopefully you're not jumping off. But I'm Kate Archibald. I'm the, <laughs> the host of uh, the Health Accelerator Challenges. And I, uh, I wanted to go through some of my favorite peptides. And we've got a new new uh some some new pages and content from uh our peptide handbook that hopefully most of you have if you don't have access to the peptide handbook you can uh, shoot us an email info at go well or info at acueastwest.com and we can we can hook you up with that but this is a new um a really cool new document that i'm going to be jumping into and then we'll have we'll have a fun challenge uh to to present today and so um thanks for for bearing with us we're getting started a little bit late and so i'm going to share my screen here if you're just listening to the audio on this from uh for the, the podcast uh, i'll i'll try to be as detailed as possible um but we got some some really cool stuff i wanted to just um, use some of this to go through uh, some of Reagan and I's favorite peptide stacks. Um, I'll, I'll share even what the current stack that we're that I'm I've been uh, trying out and uh, just loving it. So uh, this is uh, something we're we're just getting through all of the uh, kind of fine fine line details here, but. Um, we have identified kind of our 30, uh, there's about 33 different peptides and different um, combos that we've come up with, or 32 to be exact, uh, that are kind of our, our highlighted peptides. And so this is going to be uh, something that you'll get uh, one of these cards with your peptides is the goal. So every time you get a shipment or a, a package of peptides, you have a card in here that actually tells you what it what it uh, does, how how it can impact you, and so one of the first ones, uh, and there's some that are uh, related to there's peptides as well as some nootropics, and so uh, just just getting it kicked off here, uh, I wanted to find one of my the the newest ones that I've been using so. Um, where is SS31? I got to find it. Um, but SS31, this is one that uh, we just added onto the shelf. Um, it's very similar to Mott C. And it may not have made, since it's so new, we got to, oh, here it is. All right. It was just uh, towards the bottom. All right. So SS31 this is the superhero peptide for the mitochondria. Uh, not only do you get an energy boost when your mitochondria aren't working right, it can cause all sorts of problems like heart disease, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. 
Um, it's like a protective shield for your mitochondria, keeping them safe from damage caused by biotoxins. Um, some of the clinical trials in a variety of patient populations include um, those with heart failure, acute kidney injury, and neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Um, another notable um, thing on the clinical trials for the SS31 uh, peptide is uh, with patients with acute myocardial infarctions or heart attacks in this um, trial who received SS31 in addition to standard therapy had significantly lower incidence of major adverse cardiovascular events such as death, heart failure, reoccurrent MI um, compared to those who receive standard therapy alone. Um, also studies show can lower hypertension. So this is a really cool one. I've, uh, I've been working on repairing my mitochondria over the last 30 days and SS31 has been a really, really cool one. Um, my very favorite, um, peptide would be tesmorelin and it's uh, tesmorelin with ipamorelin. That, that would be the combo, but tesmorelin's just, uh, an awesome one. I'm, you know, I use it more from a, from a building lean muscle uh, standpoint. And so that's, that's my main kind of focus with this. It's a growth hormone socratagogue. So you're opening up some of the growth hormone pathways. Um, but some of the things that tesmorelin does, it's just amazing liver health. So um, proteins are well-established as building blocks for muscles and your liver. Uh, responsible for converting the proteins you eat into slabs of muscle. Tesmorelin has been shown to repair even the most damaged liver, so you can rebuild the frame that you want in a shorter amount of time. So it's really great for, for your liver, and it's uh, what Tesmorelin is doing is it's helping uh, improve that and uh, rebuilding, rebuilding muscle. Um, belly fat converter, tesmorelin, ipamorelin effectively turns your accumulation of midsection overage. So that spare tire into a defined masterpiece by working on your natural youthful growth hormone pathways. Um, that's exciting. Uh, the cardio brain reset, uh, it's a great way to lower non-optimal ranges for cholesterol. Um, clean out your pipes with its inflammatory lowering and regenerative properties also improves cognitive decline while you're putting on muscle enjoy uh, enjoying your favorite fitness 50 at age 100 challenges or fitness 25 at age 50. Um, typically with uh, tesmorelin you would do like five days on two days off um, so uh, five out of seven days you're doing some sub q injections um, you We'd typically do this for about a 30-day cycle, and then if someone wanted to restart that after a 30-day um, break, you could. Or I, you know, usually it's a, about 30 to, to 60 days in between those cycles. But that is my probably number one favorite. And um, you guys here joining me live, if you have any favorites, type them into the chat box for me. I'm I'm curious to hear. You've had um, any of your favorites. I feel like uh, Tesmorelin gave me huge gains in the gym. It helped uh, me cut uh, just uh, cut some belly fat significantly and just feel like I got a, a way, way better body composition. Um, so love that one. All right. Our next one that we're going to talk about, Thymosin Beta 4. This is another really really good one if you're trying to, um, if you're just starting to move more, work out, if you have damaged tissue, if you're, you're working on just, in, you know, uh, healing up your body from, you know, old injuries, uh, maybe, you know, yeah, the, those things. Um, so pain wise and regeneration is what thymus and beta four is doing. Um, it helps with DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. So if you're just starting starting to work out, maybe you're uh, working with Tristan, our fitness advisor, and he's beating you up pretty good. 
Uh, make sure you got some thymus and beta-4. You can get these in capsules. We use the thymus uh, TB4 frag. Um, you can get the frag max. Um, these are awesome. And so um, helps with muscle soreness, alleviates delayed onset and uh, post-workout muscle soreness through the VEGF uh, pathway. Um, there's stem cell recruitment with this. So uh, the thymus and beta-4 gene activates stem cells when tissues are damaged, which improves cell migration, inflammation, and degeneration. So really cool. If you have some damage in your... Um, it, Say you have a knee problem, you got uh, either you had an injury or maybe you just have long-term arthritis in your knee uh, from you know, accumulation of trauma and, and uh, problems there. Then uh, TB4, what it can help do is um, it's going to, to go into that area and help drive more stem cells into that, that joint. And so it's a great signaling factor for stem cells um, because stem cells, those are like your, your building blocks um, cells that can help with that degenerative problems. And so if we can get enough stem cells in that area, usually we'd want to you know, do some injections there, but this is, this is a great adjunct to stem cell uh, treatments or just um, you know, some, some regenerative uh, properties in and of itself because it's it's uh, it's attracting your your body's own stem cells. So really cool there. Brain health um, has neuroprotective properties. Its immune properties decrease beta amyloid plaques, in, uh, which that's found in Alzheimer's disease, um, and increases your neural ato um, autophagy. So um, getting cell clean, just cleaner cells. Um, so really, really cool one. Um, another peptide uh, would be Selenc. So this one, I'm actually taking Selenc. Um, I might kind of don't tell anyone, but I, my wife is, uh, has the nasal spray Selenc and I steal it from her every once in a while because it just uh, helps calm the nerves really well, especially if I got um, stressful project or not necessarily stressful, but you know, an intense project or uh, something intense I'm working on helps just dial down the the nervousness, the stress, uh, some of those stress feelings or feelings of anxiety. So Selenc calms your amygdala freakout zone uh, by breaking down um, the enkephalins that are express fear, anxiety, and aggressiveness. As a bonus, it gets uh, it gently binds on opiate uh, receptors to blunt pain, so it can actually be a good um, good pain reliever. That's actually something new. I did not know about that. That's awesome. Uh, Gabatize, the link shortcut to culture and anxiety occurs by activating fifty two of the eighty four genes that are responsible for GABA, making it a natural chill out, chill you out benzo without the the benzo, uh, benzo is not included. Uh, the youthful spark, imagine having your brain's youthful spark restored. Uh, Slink might be the fastest way to get there with a 30% increase in BDNF. That's your brain derived nootropic factor, which improves both short and long term memory. Um, brain on fire, fire to brain. So this is a really important one. And I think um, the, you know, what we see with Selenc is reducing that, that brain inflammation, which is huge. So Selenc has been shown to lower TNF alpha, IL-6, and other pro-inflammatory cytokines. Uh, what it does, it shifts T cells from Th1, Th17 to the Treg, um, which are also fancy molecules that prevent infection. So also great, um, kind of, a, uh, especially in the brain, because it is a nasal spray, um, great for kind of uh, regulating, not regulating, but um, uh, fighting off infections. So Slink, really, really cool one. Esta, you, li you love Slink. Thanks for sharing. Um, uh, no pet. So... This is, uh, I, 
I've been my first experience. So I'm going to share my kind of initial story with nootropics. Uh, it was about, it was probably over 10 years ago. It's about 12 years ago. Now I, um, Reagan came down to St. George and we were working on a project together and he, I hadn't eaten a lot of food or anything. Uh, actually I hadn't eaten anything that day other than I think I had a cup of coffee. So I, I was not, um, was doing a little bit of a maybe bulletproof inter intermittent fasting there. And so, uh, Reagan hands, he's like, Oh, here, um, take, try out some, uh, nootropics. So he had me, uh, test out. And this is actually, um, I was, I was doing, uh, let's see, it was anaracetin. I did that with, but anyways, no pept I've, um, but my first experience with, uh, nootropics was that instance. And I've always been a little bit hesitant um, since then, because what happened is, uh, you know, he, he gives me these pills and I'm um, thinking, okay, like they're going to help with uh, memory focus, just feel really good. And I think a combination of just a completely empty stomach, no food in my body and a little bit too much caffeine, probably from the coffee, my brain just felt like it was like on a whole nother level. It was really cool, but towards the end, it was like exhausting. My brain was just like almost working too, too hard and too fast. And so, um, no pept, uh, so that was with aniracetam and that was my first, very first experience with it. Since then, I also think I probably, uh, overdosed myself a little bit, took a little bit too much. Um, one of my problems and Reagan will attest to this is I always think more is better. Um, that's, it's not necessarily the case. If I, he tells me, Hey, this thing's really cool. Um, this is what it does. I'm like, Oh, I'll take 50. Um, when you're only supposed to take five. So, um, or one. <laughs> so that's, that's one of my, my challenges. I got to slow the roll sometimes on, uh, on this stuff, but it, um, no, no pets, uh, specifically. So this is a, another nootropic similar to aniracetam, but um, it's got a little bit different quality. Um, this one, supercharged brain studies support no peps ability to enhance memory, learning, thinking ability by increasing alpha and beta rhythms. Electric brain, no pep, uh, amplifies neurotransmission signaling between the brain cells for creativity, faster learning and increased, um, retention. And reduce fatigue, anxiety, increase exploratory patterns in the brain. Um, so really good for creativity. Reduces stress, prevents cognitive decline, lowers inflammation, protects against plaque buildup in the brain. And so really, um, really cool um, thing there. Uh, no pet. Uh, MOTC. Talked about SS31. I'm... Uh, I haven't done, it's been a minute since I've done a MOTC round, but I like the energy boost I get from a uh, MOTC, I can definitely feel it. So this is supports energy and mitochondrial recharge and uh, what it's doing. And so uh, we, we call it, you know, somewhat of a um, exercise mimetic. And so your, your MOTC peptide triggers longevity, metabolism, insulin sensitivity while increasing black, brown fat ap activation. Uh, MOTC activates heat shock proteins for muscle recovery through the AMPK energy building pathway. Um, it works through the mTOR pathway um, as well. Great for age reversal, expressed in... Um, so it, Matsi is more expressed in Japanese populations that live longer. It's been shown uh, that patients with heart disease have lower levels of Matsi and more, or higher levels of Matsi and more endothelial cell damage. Sorry. Um, so patients with heart disease have lower levels of Matsi and more endothelial cell damage, lowers cardiac inflammation, improves epicardial vas vessel function. Um, so just so many really cool um, peptides here. And so this is, we're going to do a couple more. 
All right. So Epitalin. So probably every one of you has taken, uh, if you're in one of our programs, if you've worked with the Accelerate Wellness programs, you've taken out Epitalin. Um, if you haven't, you got to reach out to us. If you're not in one of our programs, also reach out to us. Um, but we have um, Epitalin is awesome. It supports the HPA stress reset. This is one of our foundational peptides in the reset phase. Um, and what it does, so one of the things that's really fascinating, it's a telomerase. So this helps tighten up your uh, telomeres. And it's actually long-term uh, studies on epitalin shows increase in longevity of like, I think after two cycles of using epitalin, um, it was shown to increase lifespan by seven years. So that's really fascinating. It's very long-term, like a 30-year study they did. Um, it's also a HPA axis reset, activates telomerase uh, for longevity. Um, it's uh interesting thing here. Fruit flies and rats given epitalin had a 52% decrease in mortality. That's awesome. Um, and uh, sleep lipids, cholesterol, epitalin balances circadian rhythms, blood lipids by activating the p -creb and al al this, this, uh, this word's a tough one, alchemine, acetyltransferase pathways responsible for melatonin production. Um, so really, really cool uh, peptide, epitalin. Uh, CJC1295, this one is awesome. I'm uh, currently kind of going between Tesmorellin and CJC1295. Those are probably my two kind of most, most favorites. Tesmorellin's number one, CJC number two, and then probably like MOTC and SS31. I, I don't know. They're all really cool and really fun. Um, every time I get my, my box of peptides, it's just like Christmas. Um, so young jet. So one of the things CJC is a supercharger for muscle building and accelerates recovery by inducing delta sleep waves and resetting your circadian rhythms. And so it's really nice. Um, CJC can help you sleep uh, better. CJC with it for morellin is typically how we uh, put it together. Uh, CJC is not uncommon to feel a surge of energy right after injecting it. Um, you'll get like a flush feeling. I, that's like, uh, feels like you're ready to go. I love that feeling. Um, some people do not. So don't, don't take my word for it. Um, take your own, <laughs> De uh, declining growth hormone levels, uh, to involved thymus glands and immunity decline. Uh, CJC recharges your immune cells intelligence by providing an increase in natural growth hormone along with epimorelin, it becomes a supercharger that yields seven times greater growth hormone rates. So very, very cool one. Um, ARA290. So let's talk about this one. Um, this, so ARA supports pain and regeneration. Uh, and so it's great analgesic. Decreases inflammation by turning off cytokines IL-6, IL-12, and TNF-alpha, which improves wound healing and tissue repair. Reduces your blood pressure, blood glucose, and autoimmunity. Um, it also repairs, so it can stimulate blood vessel growth, stabilizes blood pressure, calms nerves, and reduces pain. Um, and one place in particular, it's really helpful with neuropathic pain. So neur neuropathic pain thresholds are improved with ARA290's impact on the small nerve fibers. So, you know, if you have neuro uh, neuropathy or neuropathic pain, uh, like uh, some of the red light therapies, increasing the vascularity to those nerves, as well as ARA290, um, game changer. Another really cool peptide is uh, BPC-157. It's your body protective complex is what BPC stands for. It's first isolated for, from uh, human gastric juices and has been shown to be 
uh, protective of gut barriers, combats inflammation, resolves IBS. So it helps, um, you know, helps heal up uh, the intestinal wall and the intestinal lining, specific, especially in cases of NSAID use, uh, when there's a lot of NSAIDs um, that may have caused gastric uh, bleeding, anything like that can be really helpful. It also regulates the gut-brain access through the vagus nerve, stimulates hormone production in the gut, helps reset, reset circadian cycles. So it's a really good um, overall healing peptide. Um, I, I like to refer to it as the Wolverine peptide, you know, when uh, Wolverine like takes, takes on all these bullets and everything, like his body just starts healing right on the spot. Um, it's really cool. And I, I've been taking uh, so, uh, quite a bit of BPC. Um, let's Oh, I had a question come in. Synergy between, um, I think this is SS31 and ARE is what I'm assuming that that means, uh, Anthony, but um, really good synergy. So SS31 um, is really going to be focused more on your uh, overall uh, kind of energy, energy sources, energy factors. Oh, AI car. So I, I probably wouldn't want to, I, I don't know enough about um, AI car to, to really um, say much other than just looking at it um, could be, could be helpful. Um, all right. So, uh, thanks. Thanks for your question. Let's see. So lastly, I'm going to finish with five amino one MQ. Um, this is the first one on our, our document, but I, I just like to kind of skipping around and seeing all the, uh, it's, it's fun to look at all these different, um, peptides that can be just, uh, amazing for, for what we're doing. Um, and so I have here, uh, five amino one MQ. This is an energy and mitochondrial support peptide. Um, it's, it is awesome. One of the main things that it's been used for is weight loss turns off your NM, NMT pathway, the fat storing pathway and helps shrink fat cells and deposits. Reduce risks of diabetes, uh, arthrosclerosis, kidney, liver, cardiovascular disease um, by lowering cholesterol by 30% after 16 weeks. That was the, the studies shown. Um, insulin sensitivity. It uh, works on the GLUT4 pathways for glucose metabolism with insulin resistance, especially when combined with exercise. So really good there. Energy and longevity recharge. Um, acts, activates the CERT1 uh, pathway with uh, for recharge AMPK and NAD production, increases cellular metabolism and your metabolic rates. Also, fun fact, it turns off some of the cancer pathways for greater longevity. So this, this is a really cool one. I haven't done 5-amino-1-MQ. Uh, one MQ. It's been a little while, but love this peptide. Really good energy booster. Helps accelerate some of the um, body composition and weight loss, um, but it's uh, it's it's an awesome one. So um, that's going to wrap it up as far as the the peptides go. And so for our challenge this week, um, wanted to um, uh, present the challenge. And uh, so next week or tomorrow on the podcast, um, I'll ask you, you can send it in on the chat box or email us, but your challenge this week, and you can email me directly at kate.acueastwest.com, that's C-A-D-E, um, but ask um, yourself to give yourself, like, what health advice would you want to give yourself 10 years ago? 
Um, if you're thinking about, you know, maybe how far you've come uh, right now, or you just know so much more when it comes to your health and how to resolve um, health problems, health concerns, what advice would you give yourself 10 years ago? Um, so maybe type that out, write that out. Um, that is the challenge for uh, this next week is what would you give your 10, your 10 years younger self or 10 years ago self? Um, go in the past and say, you know, what would be the, the number one thing that you'd like your, to share with yourself about your health? Um, maybe don't take it for granted or, um, you know, there, I think there's a lot of things that you can go there and, and, uh, looking at new, new avenues. And I think that's, what's really exciting about uh, what we're working on here at East West health is just finding that cutting edge innovation in health and with, with peptides and nutrition and having a, a combination of everything is just so so impactful and so love it love you guys thank you for uh hanging on with me and uh appreciate you and we will see you next time same time same place see everybody